I want to go over uh, briefly how to create a high converting lead magnet. The lead magnet is what you'll be advertising uh, in your pixel ads and what you're giving away in exchange for the person's email address. Uh, the old style of doing this was giving away, you know, a massive entire ebook. But we found that most people don't even download the ebook, and if they do, they're only going to read the first few pages, then move on to the next thing. So as we started shortening up our lead magnets uh, into either just a video or a, a really short report and giving away even checklists at times, um, our conversion rates and our open rates, so our engagement rates for our subscribers went up even more. They were able to take more action with the, the emails going forth because we weren't dumping so much information on them. You know, people don't want all that for free. They just want something that can help them out that they can take action on quickly. Uh, you know how fast social media moves. So keep it real short. We're talking, uh, you know, a four to seven page report, uh, two to three page checklist, something that solves one problem. So we say one problem, one solution. Um, a five to 10 minute video training is more than enough for a lead magnet. If you have a business, then you're giving away something uh, for free, like a free appetizer with purchase of entrees, uh, a discount to your business. But you just want it to be really simple. If you're an information business, you don't have to give away a 50 page ebook. The people are, in most cases, are not going to read it anyways. So by giving them something that's actually actionable and they can use, has a lot more value than giving away a 50 page book. So with a this example here, we want to educate the consumer because even though, or the visitor, even though they've been to our site and pixeled, we still want to give them a little bit of information about us and then also use this to pre-sell our front end paid offer. So right now, there's still a, uh, could be a warm lead, they've been to our site, but they haven't bought from us yet. So we want to move them from our prospect list onto our buyer list and we use the lead magnet to start conditioning them to purchase. So we give them a taste of what they're gonna get. That's why we keep it high quality so they know the quality. And this is good for free. Imagine what I'm getting at the 997 uh, price point. So again, uh, checklists, you can even splinter off uh, something from your main product. The main product that we sell with this report is 13 traffic sources. Uh, we give them 13 videos walking through, you know, obviously 13 different traffic sources, websites, and that over the shoulder videos. So we took three of those sources, our favorite, mine, Brian's, and Mark's. And then we each wrote one page on how to use that traffic source and then prompt them with a call to action to go to the sales page for the paid product. Uh, let me pull up that um, lead magnet so we can take a look and walk through and I'll show you what we did for that. Here's that lead magnet that we are giving away for free on our three favorite traffic sources. Um, we put a cover page on it. This one came out to seven pages. So the cover page matches what they saw on the opt-in form. So there's, we like to keep that continuity, a continuity, excuse me, all the way through. So we have the same cover and then we have a quick introduction. Congrats, try to get them pumped up, give them a little bit more information let them know our contact information is here, let them know that you're a real person, and then we go into the methods. So Mark has his here on affiliate traffic, and these are just the bullet points from the paid product. So in the paid product, Mark does this in video form. He just outlined what he talks about in his video. Here's mine talking about form traffic, one of my favorite methods. Pop an image in there, and then Brian talking about core traffic. So you can see it's really simple. People are gonna be able to read this, see what our three favorite methods are. We're giving them actionable steps. Mark walks it through, one, two, three, four, five, et cetera. Okay. I show them how to find forms, how to add their signature, how to drive traffic. Brian, same thing, gives them an example on what to look for, how they can drive traffic from the site. So if someone downloaded this lead magnet and they were looking, had the problem where they needed traffic for their site, this helps solve their problem. And then we talk about how our Rebel Traffic Mastery can solve more of their problem by giving them 13 videos. And then of course, we always like to capture our audience on more than one platform, as you know already. So we, now that we have them on email, they'll go into a follow-up series. 
that sells Rebel Traffic Mastery if they don't buy it at this point. And then we also like to get them onto Facebook and YouTube, liking our page there, subscribing our channel there, so we have more chances to get our message across. But of course, to this point, they've already been pixeled. We know that they have downloaded the opt-in report. And then with our pixels also, we'll know whether or not they have bought in Rebel Traffic Mastery and if we should sell that to them or not with our follow-up ads. So keep it real simple. Remember, cheat sheets, checklists, um, something like even you know, like a content aggregator post, you can aggregate all those resources into a lead magnet. That works really well. Just think one problem, one solution, and give them something actionable that they can get results with. Any questions, just ask in the discussion. Thank you.